did you think about the Mason Cox pre-game scenario, I guess? Like everyone, Brownie, um, we were, I was still up on the Gold Coast at this stage, so the, the explanation that's come out now is absolutely logical. He was in there, he wanted one more jump at it. The boys, the DOS Giants boys are still coming in because they're next. In, you know, they're yep. next. He goes, give me one more crack at it. Now, without that sort of context, absolutely you thought he was being a bit of a smarty pants. This, this happens, I reckon... It happens once or twice a year. Mm. So it's a non-issue. It, it, well, yeah, it, the, the move from the, the one midfield doing the centre bouncer to the next, it might get argy bargy once yeah. or twice a year. Yeah. It, per team. And you can see how it, <laughs> Mummy just reacted. You know what he's sort of starting <laughs> yeah. as if he's going to go for the ruck contest. It was. I, I looked, well, it's not almost got made out as if it was Dermot running through the three quarter no, no, time. Absolutely, up. it did. Yeah. That's how it was yeah. reported. Well, and didn't... without the context, you didn't know. Yeah, and it didn't help that Mason didn't get a touch in the first half. No. Like, no, I, I mean, that's. That's something that, you know, when you put those two together and then go, and, and he's got a history of being, you know, Aussies look at him and say, you're too American for us. Yeah. So there's a little bit yeah. of uh, background in all that as well. So um, the Mason Cox incident. I can't believe this. <laughs> okay. I can't believe that we live in such a country where a ruckman, Mason Cox, grabs a ball out of a ruck and it's national news. It's like footy's back with these. Crazy stories that get leverage. Do, do you, that's what I feel. So I feel now that I feel like it's been misrepresented. I know, so do I. So just have a look at this in its entirety, knowing what Cox's explanation is now. So he says he was finishing off his work with the central umpire and he had one bounce left to go. So Cox is set up to the right. Yep, he's okay. asked the umpire for one more bounce yep. and then that bounce is they about walk to in. happen yep, as the Giants in. encroach into that space. So Cox, who's got a mind to continue for that one last bounce which he's requested, <sighs> ends up... So th this looks like, and it certainly looked like it on Saturday night, smart alacry at its <laughs> absolute highest. But it's not really It's what nothing. Happened. Why did the AFL seem to please explain? I sort of get the please explain to get this explanation. If they saw the Channel 7 footage of it, they get the please explain. But without this explanation, I'm not sure we get to a proper resolution. But see that footage and you say, well, that's exactly what happened. Oh, he did. Was he... Why are we doing this? But isn't this the exact reason of the plea? Could you oh. just tell us what was going on here? This is what was going Oh, yeah, we can see what was going on. I think we might have figured the wrong bloke. Do you think that well, this is So Cox has gone with the placate. I apologise for the incident in the pre-game. I'm not sure he's got much to apologise. He's got for. nothing to apologise about. I never know why it was we're just talking about it. Just a bit of an it. entanglement in the middle, where the explanation has helped. But it makes sort of national news. It makes it's national. Amazing. It was nearly the best talking point of the weekend. It's like front page news. I mean, I just can't. Footy's strange, isn't it? Yeah, but gloriously strange. We'll keep a list this year, buddy, of the strangest totally stories stuff. this year.